do you think um there was a difference from the Tupac that was on Digital Underground and the Tupac that was on Death Row? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think we can all absolutely say that. see Pac when I when I first met Pac and, and, and Money B and all them. It was Digital Shock Underground. G, so you got G. Shock G, who's a hundred percent different Parliament. This that, and the third. I didn't even recognize Pac as militant or nothing like that. Just as a dancer, friend, cool. And when he came out, I was like, yo, that's the same dude, you know? But I, I couldn't disrespect him because his lyrics was deep. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got to work on on Tupacalypse Now, me, him, and q That's a great album. Wow. On, on, on Last Words. Wow. So what, what people don't understand is I love Pac. Right. I love Pac, but... He's an artist to me. He was just another artist. You know, people like Pac is a god, but Pac is an artist. He's like Nori to me. He's just an artist. Sure. So we were friends and people, I, I, last time I was on here, I said something. Oh, I said I tried to talk to Pac and people like, you can't talk to Pac. I'm like, Pac's 13 years younger than me. Right. And West Coast definitely has a pecking order. If you're a little older, motherfuckers will sit down. And, uh, I had a story where Shock G came to my house. Told you that story. I lived in Hollywood Hills. Shock came on my door. I said, why the fuck are you knocking on my door? He said, I was up in the hills. I asked, does any black people live up here? <laughs> That's what Shock G said to you? <laughs> they said, Ice lives right over there. So Shock knocked on my door. We sat down and he was like, Ice, talk to Pac, man. You know, they feeding Pac gunpowder. Pac is like not listening to this me. This is no. Pac now on death row. You know, and I, I and we had conversations, but see, the thing of it is, it's like when you setting up, uh, when you working with a rapper, you have to get a rapper in a state of mind. Jeff Rowe was training Pac to be a killer, which you heard in the music. But like I did a thing for Mike Tyson, which is like you train a man to be a pit bull, then you get mad when he eats the furniture. You see me? So. That energy bled into the streets to his demise. 